guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Professor T-Rex. And before we started our content in this video, meron muna tayong pa-shoutout. Ayan, kina Primo, kay Squishy, Yoshi, Darren, kay Roro, kay T-Color, tsaka kay Amazing, at sa lahat ng active sa aming Dream Ventures May Telegram community. Hello sa inyo, guys! And of course, thank you so much sa nagpa-food panda sa akin ng milk tea. Ayan, napaka-feeling important ko naman. Na. Ayan, thank you so much, Ron, sa... Milk tea, ayan. Siya yung aming graphic artist, guys, sa Souls of Meta, so as the Age of Tanks. Well, anyway, let's start with our content on this video, guys. So, the project that we will review on this video will be the Cryptoverse. And I've been following, guys, the team behind the Cryptoverse since I started my journey on crypto talaga. So, masasabi kong this is a big project and a very legit one. So, if you're familiar, guys, sa Chain Guardians, ayan, ito yung bago nilang website. Actually, nag-revamp sila ng website nila. Hindi to ganito dati. So, dito sa crypto, crypto sa Chain Guardians, guys, you can stake your NFTs and then, of course, you earn passively. So, you just have to create your own account here. And then, once you have your NFTs, then you can mine uh, CGC na token or yeah, CGC na token. And then, and then once you have an account there, guys, and you start playing, every day, meron kang free NFT na makukuha. And those NFTs can also mine CGC token. Okay? So, yan yung sa Chain Guardians. If you wanna learn about the Chain Guardians na NFT game, I also have a video yeah, a different video for that one is the gameplay and then dalawa ato yung nagawa kong video yung isa para sa gameplay niya sa features niya mismo and then the other one was about the ov ano, overview no, ng project yeah. so aside sa Chain Guardians guys meron din silang Chain Boost if you're familiar kay Chain Boost I've been following this launch but for a very long time na and talagang napakaganda guys napaka solid ng projects nila no, na nagla launch ng IDO dito so uh, some of the projects that I have invested here on Chain Boost were the Crypto Blades Kingdom, yung Cry War, talagang napaka solid nito, yung BCMC guys, at saka itong Domi Online and then the Galaxy Fight Club. And just a trivia guys, the CMO of Chain Boost has been one of my mentors then since I started my journey as a marketing manager na crypto projects. At saka sobrang bait talaga niya. So, ito yung ating uh, bagong project, no? Cryptoverse. And the 3D virtual world underpinned by blockchain technology. So, check natin, guys, yung team. So, ito yung team, guys. And as you can see here, you have Ben Alquist. Ayan. Siya yung uh, kilala ko talaga dito sa project. And he's a very good person. Tsaka sobrang galit niya guys. Na-mentor niya ako when I started my journey. Siya pa yung gumawa ng proposal ko for the Mochimori, if you can remember. Uh, Ni-revise yun talaga yung proposal ko kasi napaka-unsure ko and very uh, unconfident no dun sa proposal. So, ginawa niya talaga ayun, mas professional yung dating. Grabe guys yung background din ng team members nila like Ayan, no? coming from DC, Marvel, Disney, tsaka Microsoft, and the Chain Guardians. So, Chain Guardians brings to the Cryptoverse a core team with years of experience specifically dedicated to building a thriving platform combining the implementation of technological advanced space and interoperable NFTs, blockchain-based gaming, and combined experience building in early metaverses, including project integration and board level district direction. Ayan. So, solid guys. Ang background pa lang nila. Wala na. Anyway, so going back sa kanilang website, guys. So, ayan. Ito yung kanilang website. Napakaganda. Ayan, very interactive siya. May mga NFTs na sila. Tsaka, meron na talaga silang nade-develop, guys, behind the scene. So, let's talk about the features of the uh, Cryptoverse, no? This is a Metaverse, guys. So, let's check their features. Ayan. Ito siya. So, there are eight features, guys. Multi-chain interoperability, land sharding and compiling, flexible building tools, cross-reality, physical, digital, assets in world, Prada system, internal marketplace, and real world, real world meets virtual world. So, itong multi-chain, guys. So, Chain Guardians is a leader in the development of multi-chain functionality, which is really true, guys. Even if you go to their lunch plus a chain boost, you can participate on their IDO there through different chains, no? BSC, Polygon, and Ethereum. Nakapag-participate na ako sa tatlong uh, IDO nila na iba-iba yung chain or network na ginamit. So, this claim is really true. Including NFT portals which allows for NFTs to be transferred across different blockchains in a frictionless and seamless manner. So, here, you can transfer your NFTs, guys, on different 
uh, blockchain networks, no? multi-chain nga siya. So, it becomes possible through their technology and then cross-reality, physical, digital. So, meron silang AR, VR, XR, MR shopping experiences. So, if you want to shop for this, then possible siya dito. We have virtual stores on the metaverse paid for. This is a virtual so store solutions for business to consumer and business to business na transactions. And we call this digital assets. So whatever, you know, whatever is in the physical is also available in the digital world. And then marketplace, of course, Cryptoverse marketplace will provide different opportunities for users through facilitating the purchase and sale of assets represented as NFTs. So here, the NFTs that you can sell and of course buy are vehicles, land avatars, structures or buildings and items and then land sharding and compiling ito naman uh, this feature will afford landowners the opportunity to monetize their land of course this is the perks naman talaga di ba, of having your own land on any game or kahit sa metaverse you earn from it so for example sell part of the original purchased land rent segments or more currently curate or control different uh, experience. So, meron tayo, tayo dito curation din, guys. So, meron kang power din to curate on your own land. In other words, the land sharding feature affords landowners more flexibility in their approach of monetization and creation. So, you can create your own as well here. No? So, talagang very flexible siya. Then, assets in world, chain guardians, NFTs as avatars, and implementation of popular PFP projects. Ayan, produced by world-class creatives from game and film and visual effects studios and customization tools to enhance bespoke experience. So, meron din siyang picture-for-proof projects ayan, or mga profile pictures guys. So, meron silang mga designs din for that one. And then real world meets virtual world. So the real world ex expertise of experienced urban planners and cinematic artists is employed in designing a stylistically unique and immersive virtual world promoting consistent long-term engagement in an evolving environment. Later guys, we will look at their virtual world at talaga masasabi mong napakaganda ng concept nila at saka napakaganda ng, ng environment, ng design, talagang world class talaga siya. Flexible building tools, intuitive terraforming tools and assets implemented for enjoyable user building experiences. Sophisticated modding tool to support importing custom scenes and assets. Collaborative building opportunities encourage immersion and social exchange. Ayan. Prama system and land clearing naman nila. Prana is a karmic computational system which rewards engagement and interactivity. So, Parang same lang din sa Reddit na, na meron kang karma points. <laughs> so, parang reputation mo siya dito sa metaverse. Strong prana grants different levels of feature access. So, land clearing provides good prana and drives interactivity. So, check naman natin yung kanilang different zones. Ito yung kanilang virtual world, guys. So, meron na as in, no? ang gaganda ng design. So, itong sa hub... So, the hub is a utopian fusion of fluidity and smoothness. So, by night, a cyberpunk melting pot of neon hum and electric energy. It is also the central zone, the heartbeats of the cryptoverse and home to the Chain Guardians head office. So, yung Chain Guardians na, na integrate talaga nila dito. And this is the heartbeat or the central zone. Siguro pinaka main city, no, if ever, nasa real world man tayo. The hub is designed to be the highest area of, a traf of traffic and an amalgam of much of the beauty of the different zone so that's the hub sa taas naman we have the high culture so the high culture zone is constructed of three floating islands which will slowly rotate and reside above the hub therefore expect all inspiring panoramic views this zone will showcase exclusive art so dito mo ba showcase so if you are a creator exclusive art fashion music and theatrical events so if you want to witness this music and theatrical events you can just go to the high culture and then it is a sophisticated cultural zone where users can explore sculpture gardens open air theaters and view exclusive art galleries so para siyang exclusive sa mga creators na area we also have here the entertainment wherein we see the game and entertainment zone that will empower users to enjoy a plethora of adventures including opportunities to explore, create, discover a multitude of games and a variety of entra entertainment experiences. It is also the home of two cornerstones of the Cryptoverse, Little Vegas and the PvP Dome. So if you are into gaming, ayan, this is the best spot for you in the metaverse. You can just go to this place, tapos maglaro ka lang, and then you can discover games here that will 
would fit to your interest and then we have also guys i love this one also the education so in the education zone there will be a universe university district as well as knowledge bases and an online space that will facilitate learning so if you are hungry for knowledge then you can go to this part of the uh zone and then go ahead and learn something more the aim is to empower the education zone to facilitate shared education throughout the community the vision is to ensure that no one gets left behind no matter where you are from virtual learning is key to providing a better future for all so ang ganda niya, diba? if you're an educator if you have courses or modules with you and you want to share your knowledge to everybody you can go to this metaverse i guess and then you know host uh courses mga virtual classes and so on and then Diba? Amazing! May education siya. And as I from that, we also have here the business area or business zone. This is considered to be the gateway to the crypto versus financial and business corporation. So, dito nagkakaroon guys ng meeting rooms, corporate headquarters, conferences, and events will be found here as well from crypto to fiat. This one will have everything people need to succeed whether they are a blue chip trader or more of a digit. So, Ayan, if you are into this, then go to this business site naman, no? And Underworld, this is as uh, segmented into three levels, with the uppermost level being dedicated to underwater activities, including the opportunity to swim with marine life and experience submarine tours of azure blue oceans. Second and third levels of the Underworld are composed of not safe for work content where strip clubs and other edgy extracurricular activities are to be expected. So, kung mahilig ka sa mga ganit to siguro kailangan nun nasa meron siyang SPG <laughs> or tapos siguro kailangan ng question na you are above 18 for you to access this world as I mentioned delicate siya no sa mga kabataan but anyway at least ba we also have this underworld for the mature people out there and Founderland we have here a secure and sophisticated place to network hold meetings and relax on a tranquil CG shaped island owners can connect with other movers and shakers in the industry Wonderland is similar to Palm Beach residential area in terms of exclusivity and aesthetic. It is also a direct, desirable location to hold real estate. And then lastly guys, yung colon naman. This is an exclusive media-centric zone which is adjacent to Foundry Land. This island will be split into two notable areas. The first is a city zone full of sophisticated high-tech where the discerning influencers can network. So if you're an influencer, this is the best spot for you. Research indoors and of course communicate with other communities. The second area naman surrounding the glamorous city hub is a luxurious residential area and area known as Colan Tribe. Here, key opinion leaders and their guests will be able to relax in chic sci-fi surrounding. So this is like a meeting area for the fans and the KOLs, no? So, yeah, I guess this is the best spot for the KOLs out there. Mga celebrities siguro, no? Magkaroon sila ng community nila dito and no chill and interact with one another. So, this is really a very big project, guys. Kung makikita nyo naman, pansin nyo naman sa kanilang graphics, sa designs nila. Hindi siya pucho-pucho lang. Talagang pinag-isipan siya. May quality. So, let's talk about the Genesis. So, itong Genesis, um, meron sila ditong map. Ayan, so we have the mountains, entertainment, business. So, ito yung mapa niya. Para siya yung cell. <laughs> yung, sa, yung sa biology, no? Parang, feeling ko lang. So, what is Genesis, guys? So, the first world within the cryptoverse is known as Genesis. So, literally, yun naman talaga yung meaning. Genesis and will be a combination of user owned and foundation owned land. There will be also ma meaningful infrastructure layer which will enable users to traverse the different areas. This includes a high speed railway, airports, and taxi services which will ferry you to certain locations. Diba, napaka exciting. Transportation comes with a cost in the cryptoverse. So, kailangan mo pa ng pamasahi dito. Unless you're one of the users lucky enough to own some mode of trans transport. So, ganun, no? if ever owner ka ng transport, then of course, wala kang babayaran at I guess at the same time, meron kang income kasi magbabayad yung mga tao sa transport mo. These infrastructure layers will be owned and implemented by the Crypto Versus Foundation with fees supporting continued development and maintenance. So talagang parang totoong world siya, no? <laughs> <laughs> it is also noteworthy that there will be location-based teleportation pods for high traffic areas which also enable users to quickly navigate the world. Oh, diba? Kung teleportation is something that is a bit impossible, a bit impossible, eh? malay natin, diba, pag possible siya sa real world, pero dito sa virtual world, it becomes possible. So, meron din silang teleportation dito, guys. 
Wow. Ayan, yan yung sa kanilang Genesis. Now, let's uh, check their white paper. Ayan. So, tingnan nilang white paper. Actually, pitch deck pala. Ayan, pitch deck nila, guys. So, ito yung kanilang land. So, they have epic, giant, large, medium, small, and single. So, ito yung price. So, they have $180 na single one parcel. Tapos, $5,000 naman yung small, 30 parcels. Uh, lands, no, for sale. So, ito yung team. Ayan, yung background nila, kung saan sila galing. It's okay, no mix. So, the, the Cryptoverse will be governed and powered by, this, by the Chain Guardian's governance token or yung CGG. Actually, available na yung CGG na yun, guys. In the market, ako, meron ako nakahold na 500 CGG kasi every time I participate on the IDO sa Chain Boost, kailangan mo ng 500 na CGG. So, I've been holding this token for a very long time now. So, CGG will be the token which powers the entire Cryptoverse ecosystem. Imagine, di ba? Kung siya yung magpa-power ng entire Cryptoverse ecosystem. So, marketplace fees, yan yung mag, uh, isa sa kanyang purpose for chase and sale of assets and land on, their, on the marketplace, purchase of assets from the storefront marketplace, public transport in world. Ah, so, kung magbabayad ka, CGG na token yung kailangan mo. Yeah, for you to transport. Custom land sharding and compilation, governance or voting, land clearing tools, platform fees for businesses. And then, a secondary token is being considered for future implementation and use cases. So, ito siya, hindi pa siya sure, but this is being considered if kailangan talaga siya yeah, for the good of the economy. So, ito yung different zones nila which we already uh, talked about kanina. So, muna tayo sa kanilang roadmap, guys. Ano na ba yung developments nila? Oh, holistically, the aim for the cryptoverse is for it to undergo several phases of development. Ayan. So, the seven layers of the cryptoverse, they have experience, discovery, creator, economy, spatial computing, decentralization, human interface, and infrastructure. Amazing talaga, guys. Grabe talaga yung, yung idea ng Chain Guardians team. Grabe. So, partner 1 of 2022 lang sila nag-start, guys. They already have website registration, intuitive uh, parcel selection tool, private round pre-sales, first round pre-sales, initial asset creation. Structures, vehicles, and avatars, continued world building, cement, infrastructure layers. And by quarter 2 of 2022, magkakaroon sila ng continued asset creation, comments development on PRANA system and social layers, comments initial asset implementation structures, vehicles, and avatars in key development areas. First phase of land sharding implementation, comments development of land clearing tool and gamification, proof of concept experiences, comments UI UX design, so on, hanggang quarter 4 of 2022. So, malaki-laking development din talaga siya, guys. And this is metaverse din kasi. So, hindi siya kasi yung simple ng paggawa lang ng game, no? Kasi this is going to be a virtual world. But anyway, that is just an overview, guys, of Cryptoverse. If you are interested and if you want to know more about, you know, the progress and developments of this project, especially for their upcoming uh, land, land sale, you can go to their socials, guys. Ayan, meron sila ditong Twitter, Telegram, Instagram, as well as Discord. So, just go to their community, ask the admins there for assistance. Ask any information that you want to know. Okay? So, ayan, if you want to sign up for their land sale, upcoming land sale, you can just register your email address. Then, click mo yung I'm not a robot and then submit and you will be emailed when the land sale is upcoming. So, I guess that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I have new videos on my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!